In this bustling and competitive world, skill stacking will change the game for you. I want you to understand that the moment you step outside your comfort zone this year and begin to improve yourself, you'll find out that those opportunities that you think are so far-fetched are within your reach. The difference between you and that person that got the job might just be one extra little skill. If you're feeling stuck, broke, and overwhelmed with financial responsibilities, sometimes the tiniest switch in your career and your income is all you need to transform your entire life. If you can implement this key I'm going to show you in this video, be rest assured that you will never ever be broke in your life again. So watch this video to the very end as I spill all the tea. And in case you're wondering, this isn't about finding one magical skill and I'm not selling anything. No, it's about creating a powerhouse of abilities that will make you unstoppable in any competitive market because I'm rooting for you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the era of skill stacking where versatility meets opportunity and where you, yes, you can become the architect of your own extraordinary career. Before we get into it, I'd like to briefly define what skill stacking is so we have a better understanding of the concept. Skill stacking is when you take your core skill and layer other skills over it. For instance, if you're a digital marketer, but then you're not just a generic digital marketer, but you also have other skills like video editing and a sprinkle of graphic design, and you have maybe little skills here and there. That automatically sets you apart. The fine balance to this is that you want and you need to be first competent in one skill before transitioning to pick up other skills, because you don't want to be a jack of all trades, but you can be a jack of a trade, but good in other skills, if that makes any sense. The reason is that we are in such a fast paced digital era where the core and a valuable means of value exchange lies in your skill level. Once you get into that space where you understand how important having a skill is in this era, you technically separate yourself and put yourself at the top tier of your game. Like for me personally, I started implementing skill stacking even before I had an understanding of what it was. Because I believe that you never stop learning and the moment you stop learning is the moment it ends for you. You want to pick up other important skills like sales, marketing, public speaking, and other skills that can help you even as a business person. I like to think of the job market as a bustling marketplace. Like take for instance, a job site like Upwork. A client puts out a job post and in a matter of seconds, you have close to 50, 100 proposals from all over the world. In that kind of sea of talent, how do you make sure that you set yourselves apart? How do you make sure that you stand out? That's where skill stacking comes into play. It's not just about having one skill or product to offer. It's about mixing a unique cocktail of skills that makes you the go-to person in your field. And that's what we want this year. From that student managing their resources to that entrepreneur that's looking to expand, anyone can up their game and anyone can combine their talents to get them to new heights. It's about leveraging what you know, learning what you don't, and blending it into something extraordinary. Now that we have a clear understanding of what skill stacking is, the question probably on your mind is, Victoria, how can I stack my skills? I'm going to break it down for you in a way that is easy for your five-year-old to understand so you can apply it in any field that you're currently in and any skill that you currently have. Number one, identify your core skills. This is very important because this is the foundation. It has to do with identifying what your core skill is and this will give you a very strong structure. Once you get your foundation right, then you can leap without falling. So what are you good at? Writing, design, are you a tech whiz? You want to identify that primary skill and learn it very well. You want to be really, really good and grounded in that skill. And that will take us to step two, learning complementary skills. So now that you have your core skill in place, the next step is that you want to spice it up. If you're great at writing, learn SEO. If you're good in design, why not pick up maybe some coding or UI UX or something like that? You want to make your primary skill more valuable. This isn't about picking random skills that are not related to each other, no. I'm not saying, let's say, if you're a video editor, you go and learn programming or something, except that's what you want to do. But it's already, it's like spicing up the skill that you already have and going for skills that work hand in glove. Number three, study the market trends. We are in a naturally fast paced digital era. And you know, with AI, things are just being automated. So you want to find out what your market currently needs. What are clients looking for? 
those are the skills that you want to pick and those are what you want to really get because there are some that maybe you don't really know to need to know so much about you just want to know the basics or want to learn how an app works and that can really change the game for you so understand the market and the skills that are in high demand and then align your skill set to what the market really needs the next step is continuous improvement whenever you stop learning that's the moment it's all over you don't want to end your career because you got proud or you got stuck in your old ways learn what people are doing how can you do it better that's the way to continuously stay relevant in whatever industry and whatever field that you're in and luckily for us there are thousands of endless opportunities that we can use to educate ourselves and improve ourselves we have youtube which is one of my favorites we have online courses and even if you're the kind of person that likes physical interaction right you can just enroll in physical boot camps and that way you can optimize your learning process next step networking and branding what you want to do this year is to make a commitment to yourself to put yourself out there right reach out to people in your industry and make sure that those people know the unique blend of skills that you offer in this day and age referral can get you ahead faster than you can imagine use social media linkedin personal websites showcase what you are all about in this bustling and competitive world skill stacking will change the game for you right i want you to understand that the moment you step outside your comfort zone this year and begin to improve yourself you'll find out that those opportunities that you think are so far-fetched are within your reach the difference between you and that person that got the job might just be one extra little skill i remember one time i was talking with a friend of mine right and i was he was telling me about this job he was supposed to get and then I, I was asking okay so why didn't you get it because i know he's really great at what he does he said oh no you know how these employers are right now they want somebody that can do almost everything they were asking me if i have the knowledge of you know a skill that was related to his skill and it hits me and i said so why don't you want to just learn the basics he's not asking you to do the job he just wants you to have an understanding so you can work well with the team so when you have this understanding you're not looking at it like oh these employers are really crazy this knowledge is finally going to be yours nobody is taking this knowledge away from you so at the end of the day it's not like the employer is doing you um, a favor it's going to benefit you most of the skills that i have learned in the long run i have used them transcending all the industries when i was fully blown into entrepreneurship I was using those skills even before I got a paid offer or even before I got into any other sphere of this thing. And if I decide to transition into anything, even if I want to create a product, most of the skills I have are still very versatile enough for me to use them in whatever field I choose. So at the end of the day, this is to your advantage. So I want you to do me a favor, right? I want you to make a decision to learn something new this year. I know you're great at graphic design, but what new skill are you going to add to it? I know you're great at writing, but how can you have that added advantage in that very competitive niche? I know that you, you know how to do your skills so well. You're good at your business. Have you thought about learning marketing so that you can know how to push your business out there? Nobody is going to do these things for you. So that's just my way of saying that this year, hey, put yourself out there challenge yourself to become more and the sky will just be your stepping stone in the next video i'm going to be talking about businesses and amazing business ideas you can start this year because this year we're going all in and i'm going to pack it with practical tips and inspiration that can get you started on your entrepreneurial journey on your online money making journey and i want you to know that every capacity you need you already have it so it's not about being fidgety or scared or anything it's just about doing the hard work and that's where a lot of us don't want to you know meddle our hands we don't want to do the hard work so do the hard work and then you would reap the benefits much later don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the like button if you found this relevant and leave a comment below what new skills are you learning what skills have you learned what would you like to see on the channel i want to know all that information so i know how to help you and how to deliver value more thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one